The 7,000 Club. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You need to call somebody, text somebody, say Bishop is on the air. Yes. Oh my goodness. Every time I try to relax and have a day off, my something else happens. Oh my mercy. It's just too much. <laughs> I try to tell people I know what I'm talking about. I say, I know what I'm talking about. All right. God bless you, Kenneth. All right. Oh, yes. Call somebody. Say, Bishop is on the air. And I tell you, I got something to share with you tonight. All right. Kingdom blessings, favor. All right. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, you want to, you want to tune in tonight. This is... Breaking news, breaking news. I'm not talking about Bill Cosby. You know, I, I really uh, believe that he uh, has messed up his life and what a terrible legacy. But your sins will find you out and he's going to jail. But oh, I got an indigenous message and a report that's right. I tried to tell these people they, they won't listen to me. I tried to tell them, oh, my mercy. And I'm going to wait for some more to come on board. Hey, how you doing, Greg? God bless you. Listen, oh, my mercy. Uh, somebody sent me a clip today. Oh, my. It just confirmed everything that I've been saying about Matthew Stevenson. Is it Stevens? Yeah, Matthew Stevens and his wife. It was reported to me. <laughs> oh, my mercy. Oh, and uh, the old folks used to say, if it don't come out in the wash, It'll come out in the rinse. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, you see, people don't like to hear the truth, but I got to cry loud and spare not. And God is vindicating me by bringing these things to pass. I told you that Matthew Stevenson was a strange bird. He's effeminate. And now it comes out that he, that they got a picture of him and a boy in the same picture. It looked like the boy was humping on him. And so uh, my title tonight is Matthew Stevenson. All right. Uh, Matthew Stevenson, the sissy. And that's a man who acts like a woman. All right, and his wife, according to Jive, you know, I used to pastor him, and, and we have understanding, and, you know, Jive just said, hey, Bishop, I am a homosexual, and I want everybody to know it. I'm not hiding it. And, of course, when he came to see me, I told him that uh, he is going to hell. So he said, well, Bishop told me the truth, and I'm going on. And but uh, when you see pictures, and then you know he's, he's he's up there calling out all of the conditions that's in the church, all right. So when you see pictures, just like the picture of Keith Jones and uh, Blake, I'm trying to tell y'all I know what I'm talking about, all right. And here this man who is also in that lifestyle, and he coming out telling on people who are hypocrites. What he really saying, he said, I'm out. And then, you know, he's saying, I'm out. I got some other things I could say, but I want to focus on this hot news to corroborate what I've been saying about this strange bird, Matthew Stevens. All right? Now, he has this hairstyle where it looks like Skabala. I try to tell him, you're reflecting the world. 
We're not supposed to reflect the world. You're supposed to be different from the world. And that's why his church is growing so, is that he is drawing his kind. Every kind begets his own kind. You show me a person's friends or his group or his church, and I'll tell you what kind of person he is. All right? And his wife is a dyke. That's why they can wear those androgynous clothes. They got a, an agreement. You go after the women, and I'll go after the men. And his church is full of sissies. I tried to tell you, a homosexual went to the church, and he said when he looked at the church, the congregation, he said, half of these people I've had sex with. Oh, my mercy. It's just too much. Now it's out. I knew something was wrong with him. <laughs> now it's out. Praise the name of the Lord. I tried it. The old folks say, I done took and told you. I tried to tell the church. And guess what? They had this sissy to come to the AIM convention a few years ago. And that's when I jumped on him. And he's wearing this doo-doo Scabala hairstyle. And I tried to tell him that reflected the jungle when we were in our uncivilized uh, boanthropy, that is like even, uh, uh, like even Nebuchadnezzar, all right, that God uh, put on him a wild spirit, all right, boanthropy, to think like an animal. So when you put something in your hair that looks like doo-doo, look like skubala, that means you're in the state of boanthropy. You are wild. You're untamed. And we shouldn't be reflecting the jungle. We ought to reflect the sophistication of Egypt. Oh, and then the ripped jeans. All of that is embracing the culture. We're supposed to be countercultured people. We ought to be different, strange, odd, different and unique and private property. If you love the world, then the love of the Father is not in you, and you are enemy of God. And this guy, I'm going to read to you exactly what's going on and exactly what his spirit is all about. He's attracting these people that wants to embrace the world. They want to be in the church. They want to be amphibious, one foot in the church and the other in the world. Well, God said, come out from among them and be separated. It was reported by Jive that the wife, listen, goes to a gay bar or a club and go to the conventions. What you doing going to a convention? And, you know, he said, that she is handsome too, as in a man. And Jive, you know, he said, oh, Matthew Stevenson, you know, Jive, he already claimed that he's, uh, you know, homosexual, so he's, he's lusting at uh, Matthew Stevenson, all right? And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you got to go to King Jive. He got it, and he got the, he got the picture, all right? He showed the picture. Now, no man have any business on your back like he's pumping on you. I'm trying to tell you. You can tell by the way he, his hands are. Y'all come to the altar. All of you that have, all of you, all of you that have backslidden, all of you that, that's bound by this and that and the other, all of you that are having sex relationship with the same sex, he calls out all of the conditions. But he himself is bound. Now let me give you a scripture. Oh, I want you to put this one down. Oh, my mercy. I told you he was a sissy. Y'all won't believe me. Now, here's the depravity of false teachers. He's a false teacher. You got to believe the word of God, all right? 
I mean, let God be true and let Matthew Stevens to be a liar. Is it Stephen or Stevenson? What? <laughs> hey, man. It, uh, it's uh, Matheline, all right? Matheline Stevenson, as in uh, a woman's name. And his, his wife, uh, I guess we can call her Mr. <laughs> Stevenson. All that's going on in the church. All right, Matthew Stevens. Somebody, if you want, if you uh, just tell me, am I correct when I say Stevens or Stevenson? Matthew, what, Stevenson or Stevens? I am so excited. All right, Matthew Stevenson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. Now, listen, you have to have discernment to know what kind of leader you're following. Of course, when you're perverted, every kind begets his own kind. In, in Chicago, this, man is, this man's church is growing like nobody's business because he represents, all right, the culture. And he's telling the culture, come on in, no matter what your sexual orientation or your moral standard. That sounds like what Blake said. Now, don't forget, Blake invited this pervert to speak to the AIM convention a few years ago. And when I saw this sissy, I said, man, look at his hair. I call him doo-doo hair. It looks like Scabala. And I jumped all over him. I said, now look, he wearing tattoos? Why you got to look like the world, act like the world? You know why? Because he's a sissy boy. He's a girly boy, and his wife is a manly woman, as in dyke, as in lesbian. Now, I've got some more news on the uh, Daryl Hines. i got inside information, but I, I just couldn't rest tonight when I saw uh, uh, Jive. He always sends me a clip and what have you. And uh, when I saw the picture, pictures don't lie, just like Blake and Keith Jones. It don't lie. I'm trying to tell y'all. And like Jive said, another Eddie Long. Here, Matthew Stevenson wearing those tight, those tight T-shirts showing his muscles. Then they got the ripped jeans. We have gone, well, they have gone from riches to rags when we should be going from rags to rich, riches. And then you ought to dress like where you're going and not like where you come from. And then somebody says, shut up your mouth and yet talk. Shut up your mouth and keep talking. See, your dress is talking when your mouth is shut. Your dress represents a silent witness. So when you dressing like the world, acting like the world, effeminate like sissies, you're not part of God. These people are not saved. Somebody said, you shouldn't judge. Yeah, yeah. The Bible said that I ought to. Ephesians 5 and 11, have no fellowship, no koinonia, nothing in common with these people, but rather reprove them. Do not have any fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them, that is expose them, and that is critique them, that is to even criticize it means also to judge and condemn. I condemn this pervert. I condemn his wife. These people are salient. They are prominent. They are leaders in the church. And the leader, listen, should be an example, a two pars, a modeling example. That is no example for the young people that's in that church and this woman goes to the gay bars or go to a lesbian club or 
they call it uh, what is, you know jack or something anyway it has to do with going to a pervert lesbian convention now listen i mean why are you going to do that well she's a dyke she's a dyke and he's a sissy all right and he said, oh, I can't go because that would be etched in my mind. I wouldn't let my wife go to no place like that. And if my wife turned out to be, you know, instead of Beverly, she become uh, Ben, <laughs> ben Benley, I'm gone. All right? But if I'm a sissy and she's a lesbian, well, we got something in common. We both are perverts. All right? How can two walk together except they agree? Now, they got it going on. They're drawing a lot of people, but now he's been busted. All right? I know he'll try to use sophistry, clever reasoning to reason to the people that it's all right and that wasn't me and all of that. Then he'll turn into Trump, Stevenson. All right? Lying and say it's not him. But I want you to know that uh, Matthew Stevenson, like I've been saying, he's a strange bird, not according to the custom of a man, not according to the ethos and also our traditional belief. We believe that a man ought to be like a man. He ought to be masculine and a woman ought to be effeminate or feminine. She ought to be a lady and not a man, a manly. All right. Now, you know, Romans 1, anyone that believe in such and practice such is worthy of death. Anyone that approve of such is worthy of death. Now, he called out a whole lot of sins in that church. And what came to my mind, who in the world in there that's saved? Now, let me tell you what's going on. Oh, my God. Now, you're talking about the depravity of false teachers. This is Second Peter. Oh, I thank God for the word. I thank God for the word. Second Peter. Oh, my mercy. Second Peter, the second chapter. And, of course, you have uh, in the beginning of that chapter destruction destructive doctrines you ought to get away from, the doom of false teachers, they're going to come to their, their doom, all right? I don't want to read all of it, but I want to get to this part, depravity of false teachers. Now, hear what Peter says, but these like natural brute beasts made to be caught and destroyed speak evil of the things that they do not understand and will utterly perish in their own corruption and will receive the wages of unrighteousness as those who count it pleasure to carouse in the daytime. There are spots and blemishes carousing in their own deception while they feast with you while they eat with you. 12, uh, 14th verse, having eyes full of adultery, all right, and that cannot cease from sin enticing unstable souls. This man, he is enticing these unstable souls. That's why I said 7,000 Club, we deal with homostasis, homostasis, all right? That is, we're trying to stabilize those that are relatively stable and dealing with equilibrium. So we are servicing a 7,000 Club members, and that is the remnant that God wants to save. There's not a whole lot of folk going to heaven. Few therein shall find it. And uh, liberal, these people are liberal. These liberal churches, they pack out overnight. Oh, but when you drop the doctrine of God 
unless you uh, love me more than you love mother and father, sisters and brothers and houses and land, and then if you're going to be his disciple, you must deny yourself and pick up your cross and follow him. That's the qualification. That's the cause of being a disciple. All right. But here these people having eyes full of adultery that cannot cease from sin. I'm telling you, the law of sin, the principle of sin, the force of sin. Don't worry. It's going to make them do what they want to do. They're going to do what is not convenient. They're going to engage in homosexuality. They can hide for a little while, but after a while, they're coming out. It's like a thief. He can't help but steal. You can put him in jail. You can keep him in jail like a rapist or somebody, a pervert, a murderer. Oh, when he stays in jail, and as soon as he get out, he'll do the same thing. That's what you call recidivism. All right? Homosexuality has an element of recidivism. They're going to repeat. They're going to repeat the sexual sin. And I tell you, Charles Blake been busted, and I'm trying to tell you, like I told you about this strange bird. I told you he was a sissy boy. I can tell by the way he, he holds his hand. He can't help but put his hand on his hip and let his backbone slip. Put your hand on your hip, your backbone slip. Put your hand on the hip, let your backbone slip. Oh, he got his hand on his hip, let the backbone slip, because he's a sissy, all right? <laughs> and uh, all the sissies join in his church. That's right. And just like I said, when you when you cut the standard, and I said that these churches are like Walmart. That's right. A Walmart Babylonian church that cut the price to keep the people coming. Babylon means compromise. So a compromising church that don't stand for nothing all right. Yeah, people love to join those kind of churches. But when you, Jesus had a multitude until he dropped his doctrine, his ethos, his belief, and they left him and never came back. You're not preaching until you upset somebody. You're not preaching somebody say, well, Earl Carter don't have a church. Anymore. If I got to compromise and have a choir full of sissies and have homonging deacons, and I'm talking about preachers that live in any kind of way. and what, No, they couldn't take me. All right, because I will rebuke, I will reprove with all long suffering. I'll have patience with you if you're in the bed with your thermometer in your mouth and you become a patient and you don't have no business taking an unauthorized white jacket, taking other folks' temperature, and when you have a fever, you need to get in your bed with your thermometer in your mouth and don't try to help anybody till you get some help. And he that would heal the leper, in the language of hospital, he that would heal the leper must not be one. This boy is a leper. This boy is a sissy. He is a girly boy, and his wife is a manly woman or manly girl. They're messed up. And anybody's in that church, if you stay there, that's because you like it. And uh, the Bible did say that uh, they prophesy lies, and the people like it. The people like it. All right? Now watch this. I want you to mark this in your Bible now. Having eyes full of adultery cannot see from sin enticing unstable souls. They have a heart trained in covetous practices and are accursed children and they have forsaken, oh my God, they have forsaken the right way and gone astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Beor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Watch this. But he was rebuked. I rebuke this Matthew Stevenson because he is a false teacher. All right? 
he is, uh, let's say, a selfian and not a Christian. Uh, iniquitous, bent on the inside, crooked on the inside, switching on the outside, bent on the inside, switching on the outside. The outside is the schema, which is a scheme. It's a front. But the inside is reflected on the outside. You can only hide but so long. And God is exposing all this mess in the church. Some people don't like me, and, but I tell you what, I'm crying loud and I'm not going to spare anybody. Nobody is safe. If I find out that you're a homemonger, if I find out that you're a sissy, if I find out that you're in the church, I mean just, just messing up the church and, and you're destroying the reputation of the church. And for Zion's sake, I will not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, will I not rest until righteousness come forth as a light that burneth, and all the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory, and the royal diadem will God put upon you a badge of distinction. We ought to be sanctified, holy unto God, crucified with Christ, but nevertheless we live. We cannot listen, follow nobody with no doodle hairstyle, looking like the world. And I said, if, you come, if they came out with a winter coat with one sleeve, Matthew Stevenson will buy it and have all his members with a one-sleeve church, one-sleeve coat church in the winter, freezing, all right, below zero. Those dummies would wear that coat. You know, I talked about the lame duck, all right, the lame duck. He's limping, and the other ducks are following the lame duck that's limping. Nothing wrong with the other ducks. They just following the lame duck. This man is a lame duck, but he got other ducks following him, and they start limping too. They started limping too. I told you about uh, uh, S.E. Mitchell, one of our great preachers, and he was shot, and he was left with a, a limp. And he was cool with that limp. Oh, my. He was so cool until he just made it fashionable. All right? He made it look good. And it's bad when you make your weakness look good. When it becomes fashionable. Oh, it becomes attractive. It's bad when your perversion becomes attractive. Who are you attracting those that have that propensity, that proclivity, all right, they will follow another duck that's limping, and you start limping too. So one guy, uh, he started walking like, like uh, Mitchell, and I, we laughed about it. I said, hey, what's wrong with this fella? He limping too. He said, oh, he want to be like Mitchell. He want to be like Mitchell to the point that he's willing to limp, but he's not willing to be shot. I said, if he wanted to limp, he need to go out in the street and tell somebody to shoot me in the hip so I can walk like Mitchell, all right? No, no. You don't want to fashion yourself and then pattern yourself after somebody that's a pervert. Y'all need to get out of that church. Well, you don't want to go because you subscribe to that kind of perversion. Oh, man, I tried to tell... Oh, all of the 7,000 clubs that's been following me, I told them they won't listen. All right, now watch this now. Oh, my mercy. Listen, the 16th verse, but he was rebuked for his iniquity, and he was crooked on the inside, talking about Balaam, and a dumb, donk a dumb donkey or dumb ass speaking with a man's voice, restrain the madness of the prophet. And then it says, these are wells without water. This man is a well without water and clouds carried by a tempest for whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. That man going to hell. 
Matthew Stevenson, if he don't repent, and he might be a reprobate, if he don't repent, him and his wife going straight to hell, and they are leading others, unstable souls, to hell. Watch this now. This is the part. For when they speak great swelling words of emptiness, they allure through the lust of the flesh, the lust of the flesh, they're lusting after him. They're lusting at his muscles. They're lusting at his tight pants where his privates can be seen. And the women are lusting at his wife because they know that she loves women. So that draws them. All right? See, a man like me, hey, I preach the truth. And I'm a heterosexual, and I love my wife. My, love, my, life, my wife loves me, and I don't have no issues about that kind of stuff. All right? I'm normal, and the Holy Spirit keeps you normal. All right? And now unto him who's able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before his glory with exceeding joy. We're not preaching this, we fall down, we get up. That's a recidivistic song that is not scriptural and not doctrinally right. It's off. It's giving you a license to sin. I told you prime time and my, Michael Irvin, they were uh, riding in the car and uh, listening to gospel, and that song came on. We fall down, but we get up. And Michael Irvin said, man, I just got off the drugs. He said, I can't listen to that song. You got to watch what you're listening to. You got to watch the lyrics. The lyrics feeds into your mind, all right? It educates. But the sound feeds into your emotion. And sometimes there is a fight between the intellect and your emotion. All right, but the intellect says, "Hey, this don't this don't add up." But the emotions are saying, "It feels good. It feels good. We fall down and we get up. Uh, boom, boom, boom. You know, you feel good about something that's wrong. You're being manipulated by this man and his eloquence. You know, evil is excellent." I read that evil is excellent. That's why Charles Blake, he's excellent on the outside, but he's corrupt on the inside, all right? So evil can be excellent. These people are good organizers. They're articulate, and they seem to have their life together. But watch this. Mm, these are wells without water. Clouds carried by tempest, for whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. They're going to hell. And then watch this, 18, for when they speak great swelling words of emptiness. Now, it's not wrong with speaking words that you can give definition that's full of wisdom. And the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. Jesus would say, all right, now uh, they are lore through the lust of the flesh, through lewdness. Oh, my mercy. The ones who have actually escaped from those who live in error. They really have escaped. But now they're going back into bondage. While they promise them liberty, these false teachers like Matthew Stevens, he's having a deliverance service, but he himself is bound. When I looked at the, the clip today, I said, this man telling all these people, come up and be delivered, be delivered, be delivered. And that Matthew 7 came to mind. Did not, did not we cast out devils in your name? And Jesus is going to say, depart from me, ye worker of iniquity. They promise liberty. Read it for yourself. Share it with somebody. Share this video. They promise Matthew Stevenson. 
he's promising deliverance, but he himself, he is bound. He's bound by that effeminate spirit. All right, he's bound. He is a pervert. You don't have nobody on your back like he's pumping on you. Oh, my mercy. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That video we had of Keith Jones and Blake, all right? Blake humping on that man, and there was a whole lot of humping going on. My mercy, it's just too much. And the people are going to try to fight me, try to tell me, man, listen, you think I'm going to stop? Somebody, he just, he called names. You, you better believe it, I call names. All right, I did a lesson on that. Why should you call names? Nathan called David name, and it's still in the Bible. All right, the police call your name. The news call your name. They don't say, uh, I don't know, there's a certain person that robbed that bank, and uh, we got him, but we don't want to call his name. No, Bobo robbed the bank, and Bobo got caught, and Bobo going before the judge, and Bobo is going to be on the 6 o'clock news and the 11 o'clock news and CNN, all right? They don't hide nothing, and it's time for the church, these sinners, these wicked folks that promise liberty, and they themselves are bound. You can tell by the way he looks. And, uh, you know, his wife looked like she could uh, be part of the MMA. She's looked a little rough. All right? It's a conundrum. She's a woman but looked like a man. And he's a man acting like a woman. Oh, my mercy. It's just too much. All right, here we go. Now, listen. That's the 19th verse is powerful. While they promise them liberty, he promised that they're going to be delivered. He promised them that they will be delivered. They will have liberty. They themselves are slaves of corruption. For by whom a person is overcome by him, also he is brought into bondage. Anytime you're wearing a hairstyle like that and those tight pants and, and also tattoos, all of that is reflection of his flesh, his iniquities, all right? His iniquity, that is, he's twisted on the inside. That's what iniquity means. It means to be twisted. It means to be crooked on the inside. Ah. Uh. And watch this, for if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled in them and overcome, the latter end is worse for them than the beginning. Oh my God, and watch this, after you get saved, and you get delivered. That's why people talk about once in Christ and never out. No, these people have tasted. They have uh, experienced the great move of God in their lives. But they messed around and got under a Michael, a Michael, a Matthew Stevenson, and they reverted. Like I told you about Jeroboam. Jeroboam. Uh, reverted back to his evil ways when he heard about the unknown uh, man of God that ran a successful revival and rebuked Jeroboam that he repented for his idol worship of having a uh, 90-foot, listen, I mean uh, two golden calf, rather, in the temple, and they worshiped the golden calf. And God sent a man of God from Judah to rebuke Jeroboam. But the man of God did not obey God. God told him, don't eat at nobody's house. Don't stop anywhere. Just get on out of town after you get through with your campaign and your revival. 
that was successful. No, he let a wicked apostate prophet, old lion prophet, told him, no, an angel of the Lord told me to tell you it's all right for you to come home and eat with me. All right? And of course, when he got through eating, he went out to continue his journey, and a lion was waiting on him. And the lion killed him. But when Jeroboam heard about the disobedient, the disobedient prophet, man of God, Jeroboam reverted back to his evil, idolatrous lifestyle. See, preachers, when they hear about preachers failing, when they hear about scandals like this, Matthew Stevenson being a sissy, and his wife being a dyke, and this boy, Jive, got it, got the video, and Jive gonna keep on talking about it. Oh, the people gonna steady uh, click on his uh, his uh, channel, and he gonna get so many hits, and once it gets out there, it's gonna be out there. And uh, it's gonna be all over the world, and it just corroborates what I've been telling these folks. And whatever I say is true. I said it's true. And Charles Blake is a sissy. All right? And I want you to know that Eddie Long, they lied about him. And he's a sissy. Or he was a sissy. Eddie Long is long. Listen, Eddie Long is wrong, and he's gone. God's going to... Listen, God's going to come through the death angel, going to take these folks that are playing games, but he's going to expose them before he take them out of here. Eddie Long was exposed by the sissies because he was a hypocrite trying to act like he's such a man, all those muscles. The same thing, that uh, that same spirit is on, my, is on Matthew Stevenson. Same thing. That's why uh, Jive said, it's another Eddie Long. <laughs> All right, let me, let me get through with this. Oh, I'm so excited. I was going to take, take off tonight, but oh, every time I try to take off, something happens. All right, now watch this. I'm, I'm going to close. All right, I'm going to close. Anybody, uh, after they have 20th verse... After they have escaped the pollution, see, of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled in them. After you have left the world, now you back in the world, and yet in the church, amphibious, they are again entangled in them and overcome the latter end is worse than the beginning. For if, listen, for it would have been better. Woo! It would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than having known it, you know better, to turn from the holy commandments to start looking like the world that you've been delivered out of. And I'm going to tell you how ignominious it is. Oh, I'm going to use this scripture again. All right. Uh, you know better. You know the way of righteousness. It would have been better. 20, 21st verse. For it would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than having known it to turn from the holy commandments delivered to them. But it has happened to them according to the true proverb. A dog returns to his own vomit. That's how ignominious it is for you to go back into the world, bringing the culture into the church, look like the world, acting like the world, and you don't love God.
I said, you don't love Matthew Stevenson, do not love God. He's, he's using scriptures, and Jesus said they worship me with their mouths, but their heart is far from me. And that is, your heart is your intellect. He uses intellect to reason God out the picture, and the God he's serving is the God of his belly, which means the God of his desire. His desire becomes his God. He's sensual. All right. He has a sensuality about him. And that's the flesh. When you read about sensuality, we're talking about the flesh and the flesh is represented by Judas and Judas will betray Jesus and will betray the soul and the spirit because the, the flesh is not going to heaven. All right. So when you in the flesh, all right? You will do what the flesh tells you to do. You are controlled by the flesh. But if you in the spirit, if you walk in the consciousness of God's power and God's ability to keep you from falling and you will celebrate your decision and you will give God glory. You will present you, your body a living sacrifice. My tongue belong to God. My eyes belong to God. My hands belong to God. My feet belong, my organs, my male organs belong to God. Everything I present my body a living sacrifice. Glory to God. Holy and totally unto God. All right, here we go. I'm getting ready to close. But Matthew Stevenson, you in vomit. Your wife is in vomit. Nasty. Like a dog that throws up and walla in it. That's how ignominious God thinks about you. That's how he feels about you. And I'm not listening to anybody like that. I'm listening to the word. Let God be true and every man a liar. I'm, listen, I'm not impressed with nobody with pseudo success. It's not real success. You know, Jim Jones had a crowd, but look what happened to them. All right? Uh, uh, Kenneth Copeland, all these people got crowds. Jake's crowd, uh, Creflo Dollar, big crowds, Leroy Thompson, Money Cometh, great cloud, I mean, great crowds. So we don't count numbers, we make numbers count. All right? I'd rather be by myself and be right and go to heaven than to have a crowd and go to hell. There's going to be a great crowd going to hell, but only a few, only a few is willing to sacrifice the world, the flesh, and the devil. Only a few that's not distracted by the sensuality of this world. They're not distracted by momentary distractional joys. They will not sacrifice eternity on the altar of the temporary. All this stuff is temporary. All right, I'm closing. So a dog returns to his own vomit and a soul having washed, all right, to her wallowing in the mire, all right, like a hog having washed to her wallowing in the mud, See, a real sheep is not satisfied in mud. Anytime you like mud and dirt because you got a hog spirit. Anytime you wallow in your vomit because you have a dog spirit. So we got Matthew Stevenson. He's like a dog. All right? That's, that's, that's wallowing in his own vomit. And like a hog wallowing in the mud. And so somebody talking about the, you know, ah, well, you know, just because I'm a little eccentric and I have a little girly ways, that don't mean I'm lost. Watch this. Go to 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. 
People don't like this one. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators like Jerry Macklin, fornicators and idolaters, nor adulterers. I don't care who it is. Watch this. This is what I want to get to. Nor effeminate. That means uh, somebody like uh, uh, Matthew Stevenson and uh, William McCray with those long fingernails and looking like a woman that Charles Blake cannot see and rebuke because Charles Blake, he's a closet sissy. All right? No effeminate, no abusers of themselves, drinking, smoking, running around with mankind. And that could be also homosexuality. All right? No thieves, no covetous, no drunkards, no revilers, no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Then it says something about such were, were, 11th verse, and such were some of you, past tense, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. So I'm closing. And uh, well, tomorrow night is Wednesday night. I got to come back again. I may have to do things. Oh, Lord, I may have to do something every night. Every night. May even do something in the day because so much is happening. Try to relax, but I couldn't do it. I did something last night, and I'm doing something tonight, but I'm closing. And I want all of you that believe in this ministry Go to EarlCarterMinistry.com, make a donation, and give and help me build this ministry, all right? And may the Lord bless you real good. And don't forget, cap the vita for your eyes, diabetes, and don't lose your internal organs, and even your feet, and eyes, and internal organs, cap the vita, and also oxygen for your pain, shoulders, and then knee and elbow, wherever you may have, wherever you may have pain, this product will help you. All right? And don't forget FES, Protection Plan Membership. We have credit restoration, will and trust, debt zero, credit attorney, travel, smart credit, and also financial lockbox, positive credit builder, and then a discount card for your prescription. And one lady, her prescription bill was $750, but because of this discount card, it was cut down to $75. Then you have the lock, the life lock, that is uh, to protect your identity. You know, identity theft is something else. Every two seconds, somebody's identity has been stolen. Then shopping portal. And here, everybody need life insurance. Now, all these things I just mentioned is only $89 a month. I mean, just having the, uh, let's say the, the will and trust. Do you know Aretha Franklin didn't have a will? Prince didn't have a will? And now the family's at the mercy of the government? All right? But have a will. And have your business in order before you leave here. And that by itself is $5,000. But all of this is $89 a month. And then if you become a distributor, or let's say a, an agent, all right, for only $288, and you get all of this, plus you get a $100,000 insurance policy without exam. What? 
without exam, $100,000, and all of this for $288. That's right, $288. You'll be in business. And that's what we did. We got in business. And, uh, of course, I want you all to help me build the business. It's not where I would want it to be, but yet you got to get started. All right. God bless you tonight. May the Lord keep you and all you wicked folks like Matthew Stevenson in the pulpit trying to act like he's delivered when he's bound. All of you wicked folks and all the saints of God have a good day, but wicked folks have a bad day and a bad night. God bless you. Saints, see you tomorrow night. All right, Andre Peterson, have a bad night. All right, that's right. Jermaine, God bless you. Tell on these, that's right, tell on them, those sissies. I sure did. I try to tell the people, the man is a sissy. All right, God bless you, and good night. Bye-bye.